Well, some worried and angry women on Long Island tonight. Their plans to become summer brides suddenly up in the air after their catering hall suddenly shuts down with their money. Lots of it. So now what? The catering hall is in Nassau County in the village of Bayville. And I want news reporter N.J. Burkett is there tonight. N.J. And Liz, that's the question. Now what? The answer is who knows? The caterer is apparently out of business and 10 couples tell us that they're out of money and out of luck. I've been working two jobs just to try to pay for this wedding. Eddie Navarette and his fiance Tammy Pagnillo are supposed to get married on June 22nd. Andrea Rosenberg's wedding is set for June 8th. But they've just learned that their caterer, the Waterview Club in Bayville, Long Island, is apparently out of business. Andrea's father, Mark, paid his last installment just a few days ago. My father, you know, took all of his retirement money to pay for this wedding. It's terrible. It, it, it's, it, it's amazing what a man can do to spoil a bride's day. Something that my daughter has planned for a year and a half since January of 2012. How a man can sleep with a conscience like this is, is unbelievable. Andrea and her fiancé and Tammy and Eddie say they're among at least 10 couples whose weddings were booked at the Waterview. I dream of spring, flowers, not snow, winter. Tonight the owner of the Waterview told us he's found another caterer, but the landlord needs to approve the plan. It is our utmost priority to make sure these clients are able to have their events, end quote. But the couples are furious, and they want their money back. We don't trust anything he says. We don't want to be there. We need to we move on, basically, We, we, if we, we just want our money back so we can go somewhere else. That's it. Both families we spoke with tonight say they're determined to bring this case to the Nassau County District Attorney, hoping to spark a criminal investigation. Live tonight, Bayville, Long Island, NJ Burke at Channel 7, Eyewitness News.